COVID-19 vaccinated people don't shed viral particles, expert says. In viral infections, there are numerous factors that scientists must study to fully determine infection and transmission rates. But in COVID-19, many of these factors aren't yet fully understood. For the spread and transmission of SARS-CoV-2, some may be wondering about viral shedding. It is a concept wherein host cells eliminate viral particles as part of their defenses against infection. According to the conversation, when host cells remove viral particles, they unleash them into the environment. How? The release happens when a person coughs, sneezes, or talks. Even stools may contain viral particles. The shedding usually starts before symptoms occur and peaks after symptom onset, between four and six days after infection. The shedding continues for weeks until the symptoms are over, so no standard time frame for all viral infections. Circulating online, a claim said that viral shedding occurs among COVID-19 vaccinated people. This was followed by another claim that white pine tea prevents shedding. But experts countered that white pine tea couldn't prevent vaccine shedding since the phenomenon isn't there. For those unaware, vaccinated people don't shed vaccines or spike proteins. Infectious disease specialist and vaccine researcher Dr. Matthew Lawrence emailed USA Today the explanation. No COVID-19 vaccine with live SARS-CoV-2 has received emergency use authorization in the U.S. Live attenuated vaccines or LAVs are vaccines that contain weakened pathogens, which are unable to replicate. However, these microbes could still trigger a strong immune response in an average person. Some LAVs include chicken pox and the combined measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. Pfizer and Moderna use new technology to introduce the messenger RNA into cells. This allows human cells to encode the spike protein and cause the immune system to respond. Yet the mRNA couldn't leave the body because they stay in the cell cytoplasm, the surrounding area around the nucleus. After a cell produces the spike protein, the mRNA would be degraded without leaving the cell. Thus, no shedding for this technology. For J&J's Janssen vaccine, the genetic instructions to make spike proteins in cells are carried by a common cold virus. The vector has been engineered to not replicate or cause disease. The genetic material it's carrying would be degraded once spike proteins are produced. So no shedding either in the Janssen design. What people should be worried about is COVID-19 itself. Research shows that people who have been vaccinated are less likely to transmit the coronavirus compared to unvaccinated individuals.